This is a very misleading post. Rob at Fear and Perform and welcome back to another video guys and in today I've got a video for you that is going to blow your mind okay and I'm going to be responding to a post and they are known on Twitter as Fasting Simple and I guess this post was based on their app that they are trying to promote. This post is talking about intermittent fasting based on your belly type. So we have a gluten belly type, we have a alcohol belly type, a stressed out belly type, and a hormonal belly type. Can you believe that? So how you fast is gonna depend on your belly type. Now, is this correct? Well, the simple answer is no. On their post, based on when you fast or how long you fast, you could, <laughs> I mean, whatever a hormonal belly is, a stressed out belly is, or even a gluten belly, or even an alcohol belly is, I would like to know uh, where they get this information from because to be honest, it is a load of dog shit. And as we, look through the post there is no form or sense of caloric intake in there simple app fasting simple whatever your name is this is a very misleading post i'm sorry this is a very misleading post when you fast is not going to dictate your belly shape your belly type okay it's not I do not know where you're getting this information from for starters, okay? Is there any evidence-based research to back up your claim? Because, <sighs> let's see some comments. Someone commented on here. Is there a primary source for your claim? I can answer that comment for you, my friend. No. Another comment, what a load of crap. According to this, I have a beer belly, which is BS. I don't drink alcohol. Wow. Guys, I'm gonna lay it out right for you right now, okay? Intermittent fasting is great. It is a great diet, okay? It is a great approach. It may help individuals who are more insulin resistant. Again, that comes down to the food that you consume as well. IF is a great diet because it can restrict your overall caloric intake for the day and help you to sustain a calorie deficit and which to sustain weight loss, you need to be in a calorie deficit, and IF can help with that. I am slightly biased to IF, high fat diets, but I keep an open mind when it comes to nutrition, okay, because it's dependent on you as the individual. Okay, can you adhere to this diet? Long-term success, is it healthy for you as the individual? And you also need to understand this about IF. It is not going to work for everyone. Is IF great? Yes, it can be great, but it may not be great for you. Yes, you as the individual. It might not work for you. When I say this a lot, okay, nutrition is individualized to you as the individual. It's down to you guys. Can you sustain that diet? It's important to your overall health long term, okay? I'm thinking long term here. I'm not thinking short term, long term, okay? Adherence to your diet is the most important thing. Your long-term health is the most important thing. Now, you can do IF, meet all the requirements that you need, your calorie goals, your macro and micronutrient goals, okay? And you can adhere to that diet long-term. But some people will not be able to do IF. Now, the problem with this post, guys, is it is very misleading, okay? And there seems to be a common theme at the moment when it comes to low-carb diets. There's this misleading stigma around these diets, which I absolutely hate because I absolutely love these diets and I think they work. And there's this thing about calories at the moment. And if we look at this post, and for some reason, why are we not considering our overall calorie intake. Now, if you follow this post, there is no calorie intake in there. And the problem with this, and it's illustrated in this post, okay, and there's only so much, I do understand, there's only so much you can put in a post. There is no calorie intake in there. Why not put a calorie intake there, okay, based off a certain individual? Why not illustrate those examples in the post instead of illustrating gluten-free belly, 
alcohol belly, stressed out belly, hormonal belly, whatever that is, it's a, it's a load of bollocks. It is, it's a complete load of bollocks and it's very misleading. And it's the same with this IF approach, low carb approach and calories don't matter. Hey, if we consume 6,000 calories of fat, oh, it wouldn't matter, you won't gain weight because you're not spiking insulin. Yeah, there's benefits to doing IF. Yeah, there's benefits to doing a high fat diet. I know there's benefits to it, all right? But we can't dismiss calories. They're always gonna be relevant when it comes to weight loss or weight gain. Why are we misleading people? Information like this, it really does blow my mind and it annoys me because IF is a fantastic diet. It is a great approach, but posts like this really let it down. It makes people think that IF is a load of stupid nonsense and it's not. Why do a post like this? Personally, I think it's a load of rubbish. I don't wanna mislead you, I wanna give you the facts. And when it comes to belly type, so spot reduction, can we target a certain area to burn burn fat? The answer is no, based off what we currently know. You can't target a certain area. How you fast is not going to dictate your belly type. It doesn't matter how long you fast for, okay? If you are consuming less calories than what your body expends, you will lose weight. Now, can you get some of those so-called benefits, theoretically, from fasting? Potentially, yes. We really need more research, more long-term research to long-term fasting and with IF and I want you to think about this okay is it applicable for you let's stop misleading the information around IF low carb diets okay they are great tools to be utilized if to help someone lose weight to to live a healthier lifestyle any healthy diet that you can sustain for long-term health, remember that they are great any diet that you do is always going to come down to the calories okay, how much you are consuming. Now, can a certain diet influence, okay, how much you are expending? Yes, it can. Based on you as the individual, how much are you expending? Nutrition is so individualized, guys. It annoys me when we mislead people with information. You guys need a applicable info that's gonna be right for you, okay, that you can try to take and try to apply it to yourself. And it's the same in research, okay, the population group. Is it an obese individual? Is it in healthy individuals? Those markers, results, are gonna be completely different from an obese individual to a healthy individual. The point I'm trying to get across, guys, is you're gonna have different results based off a different individual. Okay, the results are not going to be the same. Every individual is going to have different results. A diet may not work for you, but it may work for someone else. And simple fasting app, if you're going to make a post like that, at least try and back up your claims. Subscribe, guys. I hope you like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Flip me that post. Can't believe it. Flip me.